A warning tonight from the U.S. Postal Service and area law enforcement to stay alert for a new scam that's sweeping the nation. It's a scam that hopes to steal your identity and possibly your money. And WBRE 28, WIU 22, Eyewitness News IT team reporter Andy Mahalstrick joining us live from Wilkes-Barre with information you need to know. Andy? Well, good evening, Nick and Candace. It's called the Change of Address Scam. And investigators tell me many people are being ripped off and they're not even aware it's happening. Investigators say the scammers use your basic change of address form like this one to divert mail from your house to a location where they can access your mail and the contents inside. They can do so by obtaining a change of address form inside your local post office or by going online and filling out the same form. State police in Hazelton say they're getting calls from victims just about every day. They want sensitive information that leads to them getting money off you. They will get your money or get your address so they can receive things like birthday cards, holiday cards, gift cards, things like that, where they could take it and use it for whatever they want. And troopers say above and beyond that, they can steal your personal identity and possibly gain access to your financial accounts. Be wary if you aren't receiving mail that you think you should be or if you're receiving stuff like credit cards that you didn't apply for, look into it. Check your mail daily. We have seen a large uptick in the number of fraudulent change of addresses in the system. And the I team spoke with Lauren Fetch, a postal inspector for the U.S. Postal Service based in Scranton. She says everyone should check their mail every day, especially with the holiday rush upon us. Make sure you're getting your mail every day, and if you see something from the Postal Service saying something about a change of address, make sure you open it as soon as possible. If it was a fraudulent change of address, there should be information in that letter on what to do to cancel it, um, but also recommend to have them go into their local post offices and let their local post office know, hey, I got this notice about a change of address, and it wasn't me. This is fraudulent. And Inspector Fetch says that two things, two items are complicating this problem. Number one, when people are getting a letter from the U.S. Postal Service asking them if they requested an address change, many people are not opening up that letter or the email fearing it's a scam. Also, she says from the head start, when that form comes in, we showed you in, in my piece, there's really no way at this point in time to vet out who's asking for that address change from day number one when they get that paperwork. That's a problem they say they're working on. Reporting live from the IT with the post office in Wilkes-Barre, Andy Mahalski, 2822 Eyewitness News. We always see more scams this time of the year, unfortunately. Andy, thanks.